All right, we've finally made it to the last of the main levels. Crystal Cavern. Crystal Caves? Nah, it's something else. And, uh, it's obviously completely obligatory for me to say, gee, it's kind of dark. And then you bring a light, and then... Kind of. But the main objective of our first stint here in this level will be to turn the lights on, so thankfully it won't be like this forever. Also, there's ghosts. Or they call them ghoulies, which kind of reminds me of that one rare game that no one played. You know the one I'm talking about. So we're going to have to find three switches and then... How are we gonna find? How are we gonna find the medallions with the power going out? Maybe there's three switches around the level. Remind me to check. All right, I promise I will only be making more Hotomari references in this video if it's completely set up for me like it was in the two previous times in the last like minute or two. Also, one interesting thing of note as I was... Uh, no, please don't get me confused. I'm trying to say something. Okay, good. That counted even though I couldn't see it at all. Don't care. Anywho, uh, the thing that was kind of noteworthy as I was getting set to record today was I actually noticed that on my old file from when I originally played this game. That was definitely not the way I was intended to get up here, but I don't care. Uh, it, it had exactly 64 medallions on it, and unless you're not aware, that's how many medallions I had at the end of the last segment. So, from this segment onward, we will now have more medallions than when I had in that particular playthrough. The game was still in early access, but as far as I know, all the levels were present, so... But there'll be a bit... There was, like, a bit at the end where they're like, Oh, man, here's a door. It'll open later when we finish the game. So that is something that I expect to change. Also, costumes weren't a thing, but... Costumes are kind of pointless right now when it's so dark you can't see anything. I can't wait to turn these lights on. Yeah, when I walked in here for the first time and noticed how incredibly dark it was, I was like, oh no, this is going to be a really, really hard level because you'll never be allowed to see anything. It turns out the level really isn't that, that hard once you actually get the lights turned on. So I'm trying to follow these pads with the cables, which are obviously going to lead to the switches. And oh, hey, here's another one. Wait, no! That's the same one that I've been starting at this whole time. Alright, well, let's... I see another yellow cord that's going up this way. Yep, that was actually really easy to get to. It's been a while since I've played this game. I don't entirely remember... Oh, well, maybe this isn't one of the power switches. But I bet this is. Yep. Ugh. Oh, that explains why I'm not able to see the yellow switches if they're not lit up unless you actually turn them on. Checkpoint? I don't know if I want to be at a checkpoint in this area. Let's just find that third switch and get out of here. Wait a minute. Blue? What is the... Oh, blue's for the... the other thing. All right, I believe I noticed a third switch coming out the back, maybe? Or no, well, this way. Yeah, so going in a different direction. Uh, let's try that leap of faith and see... Okay, it does kill me. Oh, right, now I have to get... Now I have to backtrack to the beginning again. I make good decisions in my life. Like getting confused by bats. Ooh, also heart on the top of a... Ah, oh, jeez, I'm gonna get these mixed up. Is it stalactite or stalagmite? One comes up, the other goes down. Uh, there used to be an easy way to distinguish the two that I could remember, but I... Yeah, that was, that was from a long time ago. Alright, so now that the three auxiliary power switches are enabled, now we have to go back and hit the main power break 
or whatever you would call that thing. And hooray! Apparently, the giant light bulb overseeing this cave is medallion powered. And doesn't the level look so much better with the lights on? Blue is one of my favorite colors, so uh, I really appreciate the blue aesthetic. I think it looks even better than the other crystal caves. Also, it apparently turned those things on, because those definitely weren't on earlier. Yet we had to use them as like a staircase thing. Save the Spy? That's what this level is called. Why would I want to do that? I want to catch him. Get ready to catch him? Oh, hey, maybe we'll find out here. Oh, yes, I keep forgetting about the green ghoulies. You mean the bad guys? Also, is there anything noteworthy down here? I got to check. Well, I got a... I got a location for it. That's worth something. And because of the way this game handles death, because I still count as falling off as being a death, maybe... Maybe the devs of this game just decided to be nice and not count it as such, but I mean, you still get sent back to a checkpoint, and do you lose health? Maybe you do, if, and if that's the case, then that essentially just means that this game treats falling off the same way Zelda does. Oh, I can't double jump and then wall jump and then uh, double jump off of the wall jump to get up. That's just another one of those... Uh, hard hat or bucket head people so I needed to concern, concern myself with them myself oh boy I'm talking about my multiple personalities again this doesn't appear to lead anywhere else but oh maybe oh we're nope <laughs> sun, sun was coming out and then the sun went immediately back down again Maybe taking this checkpoint is actually something I want to do. They mentioned going into a cavern, but this whole level is a cavern, so that doesn't really work. Also, the way the controls work in this game, it's not like a lot of other games where when you're on a very uh, thin platform such as this, you don't like lock onto it. Although I gotta say, all those games that involve that uh, that kind of tightrope platforming thing really sucks. It's like, all you do is you just go super slow, and then, you know, you just watch your character bumble about and just go like, whoa, whoa, over and over again. And it's really slow, and don't even get me started on games where they decide to shove tilting motion controls into that. Ugh. Just shoot me in the head. All right, don't actually shoot me in the head, please. This actually reminds me of a level in uh, a recent Mario ROM hack I played, uh, Last Impact, uh, made by the same guy who's played a couple of ROM hacks I've already played before, including one on this channel, Super Donkey Kong 64. It's a very in-depth hack, but it has like an area where you gotta traverse a bunch of skinny platforms like this, like these. And I'm assuming these green ghoulies count as another entry in the thing, right? Oh, wait, I can talk to him? Okay, so this is the spy. I was getting nervous that I had climbed up this whole area and was not going to get a medallion for it. It didn't really take me nearly as long as I thought it would, because I'm really thankful for that checkpoint, because in previous attempts at this particular medallion I have fallen off and not realized that there was a checkpoint there and then had to come back and I was like oh man there was a checkpoint there that whole time all right so is the weather just changing for no reason this doesn't seem to have any effect on me I'm gonna keep going well there appears to be an obvious winch for which to open up that little jail cell Well, the thing is. No, oh, hey, it's that spy dude again.
interesting level design in which we just kind of get dropped into the level and then immediately have someone to give us our objective, which is a very atypical thing for this game, based on all the other levels that we've been to previously. So what they want us to do is open up this area somehow by finding a switch. Oh, specific, very specifically a green switch, which if the camera... Alright, so yeah, I gotta go up and all the way over there. However, this is almost certainly not going to work. But I can kind of see like a little space where... Oh man, really? Hang on. What I get for trying to take shortcuts. Uh, shortcuts still kind of worked. Uh, not quite high enough. Never mind. Hang on, I, I know what I'm doing. I'm just getting ahead of myself here. Never mind, but you can kind of clearly see that the cage kind of doesn't really have a roof up there, and uh, no wrong button. And yeah, I, I was thinking I'd kind of like jump up top there, and oh hey, look a thingy that might be useful in getting up there. But I definitely know I've tried that in the past to no avail. So forget that. We're gonna actually get this star the normal way. Let's try to figure out what the normal way even is. So I gotta go, like, all the way up there. Okay, could you please stop spitting at me? That sound effect is kinda disgusting. Gotta, gotta be honest. Um, that is the ladder that goes, like, up and out of the level. However, because there's not really much of anything there, I gotta check and make sure that it doesn't actually go anywhere. All right. Yep, it, it was a location, just as I suspected. Now, about getting to that green switch. Oh yeah, we're cooking now. Once again, my impatience is getting the better of me. Holy crap, did I fall far. Oh, hey, I actually did get a checkpoint. Awesome. So, don't have to drag pack backtrack nearly as far as I normally would have. Just gonna wait for these things to come up right, and then, oh, X, yeah. That's the green switch right... Okay, well, it's a bit farther away, but... We are well on... Our way? Oh, gosh. Why do these platforms feel the need to tilt down just a little bit? Do they just not have the energy or something? Give myself a thing, jump around like I have no idea what I'm doing. Even though that's actually very, very close to the truth. And now we can go all the way over there. Oh. Well, at least now I know what those pipes were for. Also, hello, medallion off in the distance. I'm sure I'll figure out how to get to you eventually. Except, oh wait, it's probably just for climbing on that thing, which is not accessible from here. So we'll worry about that later. Whee! Oh crap, these are going to be like those balls from Mount Magma where you go flying like crazy. And Oh, I sure hope this conveyor belt room continues to stay open after this level because if I have to go all the way to where that green switch is just so I can get the key medallion that's going to be an inconvenience for me Ugh. that's right I can't do a double jump off of a sideways somersault sadly that might be a little bit of a broken move Am I going to get all the keys by accident without trying? Okay, not quite, because I 
there's one that's very clearly outside of my path because here's the jail. Uh oh. That green switch still didn't open it, so there must be a switch to open the jail in here somewhere. Well... Do I want to get on top of this thing, or...? In case it's not aware, I'm very much going in more blind on this level than in levels prior in this particular game. Alright, I am about five seconds away from saying, screw it, let's just get the key medallion. Screw it, let's just get the key medallion. That guy can stay in jail for a little while longer. It's his fault for not telling me where the switch is to open his key, open his cell. Wait, what if these keys open up the cell? Oh my gosh, it does. All right then, so maybe the maybe this is the key, the key medallion after all. How odd. All right, so does this count as one of those green ghoulies? I guess they're all the same, just different colors, so they might count as the same thing. Fossils in this area are kind of underwhelming, I gotta be honest. Okay, now the storm's really bad. So what's the point of all this? Oh. Is it just letting me know that we're opening up another level? Oh, is this a non-optional level? I don't like non-optional levels, no! I wanted to go back to Crystal Caves! Oh, is this just the first level again? Sure as heck looks like it. Well, this is brand new to me. Okay. The professor's here. So what you got for us? This was quite the purple storm, wasn't it? Uh, I mean, it wasn't as bad as purple rain, but... I No, I'm not saying that purple rain is actually bad. Calm down. Did he just insinuate that it's possible to lose Explorer Medallions? Uh-uh. He's going to have to go get them if, I lo if he loses them somehow. Milky Way Globe? Mysterious Gate. It's blue locked. I am so confused right now. What? Oh no, the stones are running away! I think I need those. They kind of resemble medallions. I, I mean, MacGuffins. So they have pulsating waves coming after them? Is that what's going to happen when I go into the level again? Hmm. Strange in each world that was like in every world. No, I don't remember that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a wild guess and say that the final boss. Oh, you needed 60? Well, why did the storm happen when I got to like 66 instead of 60? Uh, maybe I just needed to actually make progress in Crystal Caves. So I had those 60 before I even walked in. Yeah, I'm just going to take take a stab and uh, say that the final boss is behind here, and there's like a final bit of collecting that you got to do to go back to each of the four main levels and 
find those explorer stone things. So it looks like we've got a reason to go back to Cozy Canyon and Mount Magma then. Alright then.